Just when you thought that the tension couldn't get any more higher, it proves you wrong. Because now after this episode, the tension is twice as high than it was in the last episode. Hadam finally now knows the entire truth, not just the demon inside his body. And for Yang Myung, I feel like just like any other romance drama, what drives a character like him yeah, he's also soon to be king and he wants to protect the nation, but you can already tell what drives him more is love. So at the beginning of the episode, we have Il Song, aka Haram, being shaken from hearing the news from Juyang that the demon is inside him. Also note that remember, Juyang does not know that Il Song is Haram, so there's that. And then we see Haram being reminded of what other people said to him before. The demon inside of him, which he was told that a moment ago. His face shows more than one, walking through the night, uh, loss of memory. Then right after Ju Yang left the room, Haram asked Mu Yong to look into the king's portrait and find out what happened. But Haram also asked Mansu what happened at Mount Inwang, and Mansu does tell him everything, everything that we saw in episode two. At the same time, we see Chun Gi talking to the king and confirming everything that she's doing is to seal the demon. And we see Chun Gi being afraid. You can't blame her because she's afraid that she might end up just like her dad. And this scene between her and Yang Myung, this was Yang Myung's perfect timing to say I love you to her. Because when Chun Gi asks him, why are you helping me and my dad? He says, I'm helping because I love you, which I find it to be a really weird way to to say I love you in that moment. But I mean, I guess it is what it is. And for Chun Gi, she took it as a joke. And for Yang Myung, he kind of just played it, just played along, you know, and also played it off like it was a joke. Then we get to Chun Gi telling Haram that the portrait that she's going to be painting is going to seal the demon. And for Haram, he was shocked to hear this news and ask her, who told you this? She said, the king told me. The king himself confirmed everything. Now Haram knows that the king knows about the demon. And to really confirm that Chongi is telling the truth, remember when Haram asked Mu Yong to get more information looking into the king's portrait. After he got back and gave Haram the news, yeah, it was confirmed that Chongi was definitely telling the truth. Now as Haram and Chongi were having their romantic, nice moment, at the same time, we see Walson meeting up with Yang Myung and basically telling him everything that us as viewers already know. What happened at the ritual 19 years ago? There's a demon inside Haram. Chongi, she's destined to be with someone else, so you better stay away from her. If you don't, bad things is going to happen to you, and your destiny is not to be with her, but to be a great king for this nation. Upon hearing the bad news, obviously Yang Myung is not too fond of it. So basically, he kind of argues back saying, well, I'm going to do both. I'm going to protect the nation and protect the girl that he likes. And just by seeing his attitude from that scene, you can already tell that they're foreshadowing not a great ending for him. Well, it's a big maybe. Now let's get to Misu doing some enchantment. So first, she, she does what she does. Then at the same time, we see Haram being controlled by the demon. The demon is looking for Chongi. Obviously, it's the same thing over and over again. The demon controls Haram. The demon grabs his his nail claw, wraps it around Chongi, and then out of nowhere, we see Chongi kind of resisting a bit. And then with the ring that she was wearing, she held on to Haram's arm, and then the ring kind of lit a light and connected to Haram's uh, butterfly tattoo and that prevented the demon from hurting Chungi even further. But at the same time, we see Kwacha kind of preventing this whole thing happening and preventing Misu from doing any further damage and also stopped her enchantment too, which made Misu cough up blood. Now, speaking of Kwacha, he only had two scenes. The second scene with uh, the demon and Chongi and Misu, that was his second scene. But the first scene was at the beginning of this episode where he he arrived and people recognized him as being the painter, what's his name, um, Kan Yungok. But Uno, Chongi's dad, realized that's not Yungok, that's Wacha, the goblin who was obsessed with painting and took over Yungok's body during the time where Uno and Yungok were painting. 
Then we get a one-on-one -on -one between Haram and Yang Myung. To sum up their conversation, it's basically confirming everything that us as viewers already know, but they're just confirming it with each other. The demon inside Haram, the portrait, uh, she has to paint it to seal the demon. It's the only way. Well, as of right now, according to Yang Myung, it's the only way to get the demon out of Haram. So as of right now, Yang Myung tells Haram to lay low until the sealing ceremony takes place. But during that time, before the ceremony, if Chongi gets hurt, he will not forgive Haram. Then we get to the last scene. This is where the tension really, really increases. So first, Haram meets up with Chongi in the woods. She's painting him right next to a waterfall. They have a nice moment. I thought these two were going to kiss on top of the rock. In my opinion, that would be a perfect moment. But considering what happens after, yeah, save the kiss for later. Then out of nowhere, we see Haram telling Chongi to leave the country with her dad. And basically, the reason behind that, he doesn't want her to get hurt. There's a demon inside of him. You know how many times she got strangled by the demon? And also, he's afraid that she might get hurt or end up just like her dad if she does paint the king's portrait. No, no, no. Restore the king's portrait. And then we see Yang Myung with his guards. He announced that Haram is going to be arrested for what happened in Mount Inwang. And when Chongi was trying to stop the guards, one of the guards was trying to pull Chongi away, but then Haram came in and fought back. This is where the guards pull out their swords. Tension rises, and that was the end of that. So this episode was pretty good. Seeing Haram learn the truth little by little and then confirming it was pretty good. Uh, seeing Yang Myung learn the truth and then just become even more angrier, I thought. They did a good job at it because, well, first, you got the demon angry already. The demon inside Haram, twice as angry. The demon is hurting Chongi, three times as angry. And then Chongi is destined to be with Haram, ten times as angry. So you can really see that Yang Myung, he wants to not only get the demon out, of Haram, but also take Haram out of the equation. And you can already see that. They didn't confirm it, but you can already tell. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love that Juyang and Misu are pretty much playing bad guy in the back seat. Because here's the thing. The demon is the main villain, obviously. No one is more powerful than the demon, other than probably the tiger spirit or God Samshin. But for Misu and Juyang, they are the bad guys, but they're not causing havoc as much as the demon is. And they're pretty much stirring the pot. And I am looking forward to when it's the right moment, the perfect moment for Juyang and Misu to really be the next bad villain after the demon is taken care of. Well, we have um, six episodes left, so that's enough time for everyone to take care of the demon and then here comes Joo Young and Misu being the next villain. That's just my opinion on that and if that does happen shoot I'll be excited for that. And yeah that's pretty much it. That's the gist of the episode and my review. If there's anything I might have missed please leave it in the comments below. Other than that if you like this video leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya!